welcome to the postgame show of the Browns versus the Tennessee Titans. And after first the first half, it's one of those things where I'm coming to you on cloud nine, as it was one of the best halves I've seen in Cleveland Browns history. Until the second half kicked off when I've seen possibly one of the worst second halves in Cleveland Browns history. Let's start off by talking about our defense. Now, at halftime, I was like, okay, there's not much I can talk about. Sure, our secondary needs to work on. Our defense allowed him to score 28 freaking points in the second half. Absolutely inexcusable to allow wide receivers to get open time after time again. And let me tell you this. I, I've said this every single week, but it continues to be the bane of our existence. It continues to be the reason why I can't trust the Cleveland Browns. And it's our secondary. And it starts with our safeties, Andrew Sandejo, and our quarterbacks that include Kevin Johnson. The, their inability to make big plays and their inability to get past deflections and allow wide open receivers every single play is just inexcusable. We were up at half 38 to 7. 38 to 7. Keep that in mind. And we allowed him to score 28 points to our three. And, it, and I, I know we won, I, but it's the principle. And it makes me worried. And I'm not blaming this on our offense. Our offense did well. But what I am blaming this on is our ability to playing not to lose. And I, if you know sports, and if you know me, that is my biggest the biggest thing that I hate to see my team do when you play not to lose and you slow down everything else, one, it ruins all the momentum you have and two, it ruins, it gives the other team energy. So say you run the ball three times up the middle, they get a three and out force you to kick the uh, punt the ball. They get the ball, go down three plays, score a touchdown under a minute. This happened in the second half, and it happened time after time again. And before I go on all about our team, what I need to say is the officiating in this game was one of the worst I've seen in a while. And it was the fact that the Browns were called for over eight penalties in the second half while Tennessee was called for one. And it was a blatant hands to the face to miles garrett and i swear miles garrett got held every single play you could see it he would come around the edge and they would either have him by the collar or have him in the face mask and that happened on the last touchdown drive for the titans and it was as clear as day and not a single official threw the flag and that's what pisses me off the most it, it happens time after time again and if the what, if I'm Miles Garrett, I'm saying, dude, I'm getting held every play. Please watch. And if he didn't say that, or if maybe if he did, they need to address that because the fact that he was held almost every play in the second half and finally was able to get a sack, but it makes me wonder if I, I wasn't paying much attention to it in the first half because first half seemed very like, evenly officiated. Then all of a sudden in the second half, the Browns are all of a sudden so, so much more penalized than the Titans. And I just find that incredibly sketchy and incredibly uh, controversial when it comes to officiating. If you uh, and ask any Browns fan and probably some Tennessee fans, they'll say, yeah, we, we got away with some holes. They probably won't say that, but you know what? It is what it is. But going away from the refs, because I don't want to spend the entire time on the refs because they were atrocious in this game. The Browns played not to lose. And I said this once and I say it again. You play not to lose and you're going to put yourself on the line to lose. Go what was, I don't get why we went away with what was working in the first half. A mix of passing the ball and throwing the ball. Baker Mayfield threw the ball 33 times. I don't know how many times he threw it. Um, he threw the ball 13, what was that? It was 20 of 25 in the first half. He threw the ball eight times in the second half. That is inexcusable. I don't think that's a good thing, good uh, stat to have. Now, I don't want him throwing the ball 50, but throwing it eight times when you threw the ball 25 times is just an absolute drastic change 
of playing not to lose and they got way too conservative and that caused Tennessee to get back in this game now I I don't know if that was Kevin Stefanski's idea but it, it can't happen it can't happen if we want to compete and we can't allow these teams to come back in this game and it starts with our offensive mentality of playing not to lose and it starts with our secondary and the fact that they got way too complacent and let receivers get way too open and how many how many uh passing touchdowns did ryan Tannehill have he had three passing touchdowns in a they had a rushing touchdown right there that's that that's that that can't happen that that cannot happen um on defense and, and on offense so first half was great and then they slowed everything down everything went to zero and we we played it was a completely different team in the second half than in the first half and and when i'm looking forward and how the browns need to go uh, attack next week's game it, it's it's just that don't take your foot off the gas pedal you cannot do that and i don't know what it's happened too many times this season where the browns have taken the lead but have blown it in the second half it happened against the cowboys for example we had a 42 to 14 lead everything was going great and then we just took our foot off the pedal and that's something we cannot have happen and and as we pray to play to play the ravens next week on monday night football they've struggled this year but they blew us out in the opening in the first game of the season because we were not ready to play now we what we have to do when we prepare for the Ravens is go into the game with the same mentality that we did in the first half. Pass the ball and throw the ball. Do a 50-50 mix. While we are a great running team, having a good passing game definitely helps your running game. In Baker Mayfield, what we saw in the first half was amazing. He was 20 of 25 for 290 yards and what was that? Three touchdowns? Uh four touchdowns. Uh, excuse me. Absolutely great start, but it it it, it slowed down when we, everything uh, when we hit the brakes, and and that you can't have that happen. So, looking at the stats, Baker was twenty of uh, tw- twenty five of thirty three for three hundred thirty four yards and four touchdowns. Easily his best game of his career, in my opinion. And Jarvis Landry one of one for six yards on a six little out of uh, pass to a double double reverse to Baker Mayfield. But yeah, Nick Chubb led us in carries with eighteen for eighty yards and. Kareem Hunt, 14 carries for 33 yards. And I think we got a little bit too cute uh, trying to get Kareem Hunt the ball because he really didn't get much um, uh, in, the, in the third quarter when we we're trying to get him the ball. And I think we need a Nick Chubb in the second half only had six carries. I, I, I think he had to have had more. Um, but that starts with the passing game, getting more passes through the air. So uh, Rashard Higgins led us in. Uh, in your catching yards with 95 on six catches and a touchdown on the day. So he was able to do his Hollywood walk Jarvis Landry led us in touchdown, not touchdown catches in regular catches with six, with eight catches for 62 yards and one touchdown. And then Donovan, Donovan people Jones with a big 75 yard touchdown reception and also getting a another catch that would get him to 92 yards on the day. So but Baker Mayfield really distri- distri- distributed the ball really well, completing to numerous receivers, I believe 10 different receivers on the day. But then we just slowed down, and I don't know why we did that. And I, I would hope that's something we don't do in the future, and, that, and that's something we continue to run our offense as it was meant to be, like we did in the first half. But Kendall Lamb, not often you see an offensive tackle getting a touchdown pass, but hey, that was fun. And yeah, as as angry as I was, we won today, but it wasn't a pretty win. And aside from the first half, everything stopped. And I, I, I don't want that to happen again. That's why I'm so I'm passionate about this win in the sense that it was it was such a great start, but such an ugly finish. So that's what I have about today's post game show. Thank you for watching the CSBR. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.